All right, guys, welcome back. Today, we are going to have our mastery class. Really excited about this one for you guys. Going to be a lot of fun. Going to be working on a lot of cool drills. Uh, going to be fatiguing you a little bit, so I hope you guys are ready to work. We're going to start off just like we did in our last class with sparring, but today, instead of two rounds, we're going to end up doing three rounds. And instead of doing cat and mouse, we're both, or, or you guys are both going to be going live, all right? So what we're going to do, one will have the gloves on, one will have no gloves. So there you go. Okay, if you guys don't have gloves, let's say you guys are just both working, you're just kind of throwing open hands. Now be very careful not to flick your fingers out, all right? It's kind of like we're just touching the, the top of the head, we're just defending, going to the body, just kind of open hand stuff, nothing crazy right now, all right, and striking. So you're not going hard, you're just working, you're seeing stuff coming at you. This is mainly for defense right now, okay? That's what I want, I want you guys to really focus on. Try to implement the, the slips, bobbing and weaving, your parries, covers, 360s, also working good techniques at the same time, jabs, cross, hooks, uppercuts, overhands, working to the body, things like that. So here we go, ready, and begin. So they're both going live, two minutes. <clears throat> So they're just both boxing. Now remember, this is not a, a championship fight. You guys are not trying to kill each other. You're just warming up right now. We're just throwing nice and easy, getting different looks. Okay, respecting your partner. That's all we want to see. So the reason one has boxing gloves on, one doesn't, is just to show you guys how to do this drill from both sides. So if you both have a pair of boxing gloves, please make sure you both have them on. If not, okay, well you see open hand, just kind of touching. Light slaps, we're not going hard. Okay, just working different angles. Keep that chin down a little bit, Brian. There we go. Hands are up, nice overhand there. Good parry on that, awesome. Good, and he's returning. So this just gives you a chance to see different things, going live, getting to work. Always important to do this. So just warming up, moving around. The eye. <laughs> So notice, remember, we talked about switching stances. That's okay to do. Try to shuffle as much as you can, maintaining good footwork, having a good base. Keep going. Now, on our one-minute rest that's coming up, we're going to be doing star push-ups, okay? And we'll talk about that here in a second. Almost there. Now, if you have your gloves on and you just want to do it for the sake of this warm-up, keep them on. Just do this on your knuckles. There we go. Good. That's it. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Notice neither one has gone hard at all. They're respecting each other. Time. All right, so star push-ups. You're going to be down in your push-up position. Your feet are wide. Your hands are wide. Eyes are forward. One minute and begin. Okay, going up and down. All right, so like I said, if you have boxing gloves on, just go on to your knuckles. Keep moving. Notice if you got to go to your knees, that's totally fine. All the way down, all the way up. Look at that great form right there. Okay, going down and up. His eyes are forward. That back is straight. So this one, we're a little bit wider than normal. Work at different body parts. That's what we want. Keep going. Good. If you got to drop, you keep going. That's fine. Go to the knees and keep going. There we go. We're almost there. Almost done. Come on, a couple more. And five seconds. Push it out, push it out, hop up. Here we go, round two, we're going right into it. And begin. So the reason for this, guys, is to fatigue you a little bit, is, is you, you need to understand in a fight, you're gonna get tired. You gotta keep pushing. You got to keep going, got to have those hands up. We wanted to tire out those arms. And you're going to see they may be moving a little bit slower, but their hands are still up. That's so important. That's what you want to focus on. So 
remember, we're just getting different looks, throwing different strikes. That's the main thing here. Moving around, just having a little bit of fun on this warm up. Working counter punches, awesome job. So the great thing about sparring is going live, you know, you're not trying to kill each other, but it gives you a chance to really implement everything you've learned so far. See if you can actually land a hook when someone's going live and trying to defend it, or your uppercut, your overhand. And it's kind of like a scientist, this is their laboratory, okay, this is where you get to experiment, try different combos, work different things, and that's all they're doing right now. Okay, they're just trying different stuff. You know, try not to always do the same as that combination. Mix it up. Try to read their body. You know, if they're throwing a punch, they drop that hand. That's what you're looking at. Try to counter that hand. And this is just how you become a more skilled fighter, is being able to read that body language, see what they do, find their gives. And also, we talked about recording yourselves. Record yourself during this. Watch yourself. See where your mistakes are. See what you're doing wrong. That'll be a, a great time. All right. A great time for you to kind of see what we need to fix. So here we go. We're going to do one minute of push out. Okay, so we're going to have a seat. Your legs will be up. You're just going to extend your legs out as you slightly lean back and then bring them back. So we're going to go for one minute. You want to challenge yourself? Go without your hands and go. Okay, so we're here just pushing in and out, in and out. Okay, try to keep those feet off the ground the whole time. It's a good technique right there. Remember, having your hands down for balance, that's fine. If you want to work more of that core, you can have your hands up. So make sure we breathe. This is kind of your, your time to rest, per se. Catching your breath. If you need to take a break, you can, you know, set one foot down, go for a second, but then get right back to work. Don't rest the whole time. Come on, push through it. Push through it. Let's go. We're almost there. Everybody hold till the final count. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. You guys at home, hold it. All right, hop up, here we go, last round. Last round. Here we go, push through, good technique, and go. Last two minutes. Good defense there, David. Nice job. So if you guys at home, if you find that, you know, two minutes is hard and you're, you know, taking breaks and if you come back to do this class again, you can always drop it down to one minute. Uh, if you're in excellent shape, two minutes, you're like, oh, this is nothing. We're not even breaking a sweat. Go to three minutes. Pick it up uh, the intensity a little bit. But remember, you're respecting your partner. We're not trying to kill each other right now. You're just getting different looks. Neither one of them have been knocked down yet, so that's perfect. <laughs> so notice he evaded that punch, went in with a good counter. He read it. He's starting to kind of read that haymaker that he, or overhand that he throws, countering it. They're both getting tired, their hands are starting to drop, but remember, even if you guys are at home, keep them up, try to focus on that, try to focus good technique, come on, good stances, we're almost there, time, alright, here we go, last exercise, one minute of frog jumps, you're going to touch the ground, jump up, and go, one minute, touch the ground, jump up, bend in those knees, don't bend at your waist, okay, bend those knees, squat down, jump up.
do it. That's it. Nice job. Notice they're both bending their knees, touching the ground. If you guys want to challenge yourselves even more here, bringing your knees up every single time. If this is too difficult, you know, just go nice and slow. Small jump. You're almost done with the warm up, guys. Come on, keep it up, keep it up. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, David, bend those knees. Don't sacrifice that technique. There it is. Almost done. Time. All right. Let's go ahead and stretch out. Remember, focus on your breathing as we do so. We're just going to do more dynamic stretching right now. Go ahead, start to circle that neck. Other direction. Arms go forward. And back. Okay, have your arms go up and down. Loosen up the shoulders. We've got a lot more punching coming up. From here, go ahead and twist. Loosen up that back. You're going to see this pivot a lot. We throw our hooks and overhands. So start to practice that right now. No wasted movements. All right, from here, we're just going to be doing some nice, easy knee strikes. Just kind of extending it out. Extend that knee as far as you can. Feel that stretch in your hips. Lean back a little bit. Toes point down to the ground. A few more. It's nice and slow, over-exaggerating that movement, going as far as you can. And time. All right, so if you guys need to stretch more at home, feel free to do so right now. All right, now that you guys have reco recovered from that warm-up, we're going to continue now and, and do a, a great drill. Going to go over all of our punches, and we're just going to hop right into this. So everyone go to their fighting state. So we're going to go off of those numbers one through four that we've kind of been working. So when I say one, you guys will throw that jab, so that left hand or that lead hand. Uh, if you're southpaw, it'll be your right hand. So here we go. Ready? And one, throwing that jab out. Ready? One, jab. Two is jab, cross. Again, two jab cross three jab cross hook again three jab cross hook number four we're adding in that uppercut four jab cross hook uppercut ready one more time four jab cross hook uppercut so the the last thing that we're going to do is implement our overhand so we're going to call out a number one two three or four but then we're going to add in opposite overhand so for example if we say one go ahead and throw the jab our opposite hand is going to be our overhand so we'll follow it up with that overhand okay two jab cross so we throw that third punch which will be really our uh, overhand again with the other hand all right number three jab cross hook overhand and number four jab cross hook uppercut overhand all right so here we go we're going to do one minute each all right those are for you sir those are for you david there you go so remember if you guys have gloves you can put them on wear them right now get your focus mitts guys if you don't have focus mitts you can just punch the hands as well but remember uh, pad holders it does take a little bit of coordination and thinking so start off slow if you have to gradually speed up but we're going to do uh, numbers one through four pad holder gets to call them out i'm not going to be calling them out uh, so pad holder calls them out ready here we go and begin and then that overhand Two. there we go yeah don't forget the overhand overhand there it is Good. Four. That's it. Very nice. One. Two. So if you guys notice, if you're watching this yet, if you haven't started, they're moving around. They're not staying in one spot. Very important that you train that way. Don't ever just throw your combo and then stay there. Hit and move, hit and move, hit and move. Two. And a lot of times, it can be the puncher who's the leader. And he's throwing extra punches, so I guess he is leading. All right, there we go. Come on, come on. Stay focused, stay focused. Here we go. 
Three. There it is. Four. So if you notice that overhand he's throwing in nice and tight, he's not dropping it and coming from way down. So remember that, guys, when you're getting ready to test, everything's in nice and tight. Three. Four. And time. All right, let's switch it up. All right, so we're going to go for a minute here. Okay, switching it up. Remember, pad holders, you guys have the harder job, believe it or not, trying to remember what's going on. Just remember, always opposite overhand, okay, even for the striker, same thing. So the, the pad holder dictates the speed of this right now. They could call the numbers fast, moving around. Uh, this time what we're going to do as well, another fun little thing you can add in there, is he can throw strikes at him every now and then too. So, for example, I say three. He throws two, boom, overhand. All right, that's good. And I start kind of messing around with the boom. I say two, bop, bop. Okay, I'll come in and throw a few strikes afterwards. One, may not throw anything. Two. All right, so that's what I want to see this round. Here we go, ready? Go on one minute and begin. One. Opposite overhand. You always got to be ready. Ah, that was three. Should have been the overhand. Four. One. There we go. Two. Three. Watch those hands. Keep them up. Four. Good. Four. Ah, I confused it again. And get a little tricky, especially when we're fatigued after that warm up. Stay focused. Good job getting that hand back and then got that block in. One. Two. Three. So remember as a pad holder, you don't always have to throw stuff as soon as you're done calling out the punch because we want to mix it up. We just want that the attacker to be aware that stuff can be thrown back and it just it, extra training for him. A couple more seconds. And time. All right, go ahead and keep those gloves on. Thanks, sir. All right, so we're going to be hopping into our next drill now. How this is going to work, if you guys have gloves, please keep them on. That way we can pick up the intensity of this drill. If not, just don't throw the punches as hard and make sure that we're open-handed just in case contact is made. Uh, so how this is going to work. What you're going to do is you're going to push your partner. Okay, and I get to throw left hook, right hook, or overhands. His job is to react. Now, if, if he can do the bob and weave and work that, that is great. If he can read what side it's coming from. So, for example, if I push him here, remember, we're always trying to bob and weave to the outside, so he's going to bob and weave that direction as I try to throw that hook. Now, we're not throwing combatives just for the sake of the drill. So, as soon as I'm done, I push him again, I throw another one. Boom. All right, we're moving around. I push him again. That's the cue that a punch is about to happen, just for safety and training. Now, maybe he doesn't bob and weave in time. He can always do a 360 block, or he can cover up nice and tight. All right, that's fine too. Or you guys can burst in and jam them up. Boom. Okay, so you guys have different options there. I want you guys to just react. So if your natural reaction is to bob and weave, great, do it. If it's 360 blocking or bursting in or covering, uh, just hope that it's not just stay there and take the punch. So that's what we're trying to get away from. So here we go. We're going one minute, you'll push him, throw that punch. Ready? And begin. He doesn't know if it's left side or right side. Good. Push first, push first. And then throw the punch. Boom. All right, push him again, throw a punch. That's it. Good. Push first, throw a punch. So what we're doing is we're kind of mimicking a, the start of a fight over and over again. Somebody pushes you and then throws a punch. That's what's happening here. And it's just constant repetition, working different things. So just constantly working. No, notice you throw an uppercut. That's great. You can do that too, changing the angles. But right now, these are outside attacks. So we're not necessarily throwing jab or cross. This is more hooks, uppercuts, overhands. That's what we want to see. Good. 
and keeping those hands up, always ready to go. Notice his hands are open, kind of like a guard stance. You know, we don't want to necessarily close our fist right of the way if we're in a, con uh, a confrontation with somebody. Uh, you know, that's going to signal that you're ready to fight. So we try to diffuse the situation as much as we can, but maybe they keep coming at us. We can't escape. All of a sudden, there's that push followed by a punch. And, you know, it may not always be a push. Maybe it would just be that sucker punch. But just for safety and training is what we're at right now. A couple more. And time. Let's switch it up. All right, so push, throw the attack. Now, another way of stepping this up, okay, is uh, after you do your defense, I want you to push, create space. Okay, so you're pushing back, creating that space. We're not necessarily striking. Could you have throw combatives? Of course you could, but for right now, uh, covering 360 blocks, bursting in, bobbing and weaving, and then disengaging. All right, that's where we're at right now. All right, so push, you throw the attacks, one minute, and go. And then making sure we get free. Yeah, creating that space. There we go. I notice he's going out the back, changing his angles. That's awesome. Going off and away. Perfect. Guys, we can do so much off of this. You can go into rear naked chokes, standing kimuras, takedown sweeps. You can throw combatives. The list goes on and on off of what to do off of just a punch. All right, but just for, like I said, the sake of the drill, this is where we're at, disengaging, creating space, and naturally blocking. That's what I want you guys focusing on. Okay, working that bob and weave, working your 360s, your slips. Boom. Almost looked like a football tackle there for a second. <laughs> Couple more. Ah, oh, keep that head up, eyes forward. Last one. And time. Nice work. I'll take those from you. Thank you, sir. So there's a lot of tweaks and modifications you could do to that drill, like I said, adding in different control techniques if you're not wanting to hurt them, doing more of that medium uh, style, or you could go into hard, throwing combatives afterwards. Uh, but like I said, just for the sake of that drill, constant movement, constant blocks, a little bit more uh, physical before we, the, your partner throws that punch at you, hands on, becoming aggressive. You guys are you know, level two students just starting to step it up now. All right, I hope you guys are ready for our last drill. This one is going to challenge you. This one's going to push you. I hope you guys are ready. It's going to be a fun one. We're going to do a minute and 30 seconds of nonstop front bear hugs. Arms caught or arms free, doesn't matter. Your partner is going to come at you, and they're going to keep coming, and they're not going to stop. So as soon as you're done defending, they're going to come at you again. As soon as you push to disengage, they're coming at you again. Now, could this happen in real life? Absolutely. You could think that you did enough damage to them and you start to disengage and they're coming right back. Or maybe it's another person who's attacking you. You know, the scenarios could just go on and on of what this is representing, but this is really just a chance for you to react and go. Is every single one going to be perfect? Probably not. Uh, just a quick little review on this. So if our arms are caught, remember, try to pop those hips, throwing knee strikes to the groin, and then we're coming up top. If our arms are free, okay, going to the eyes, striking, 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 or doing the neck cranking and bringing them down. So work it. Here we go, minute 30. Brian, you're up first. Attack after attack, ready, and go. Yep, you're attacking him. Let's do it, intensity, intensity. Come on, keep going. Notice he threw a knee before he got to the eyes. That's totally fine. Base out and freak out. That's the main thing. Base out and freak out. Go. Strike, 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 strike. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. All right. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep going. Keep going.
Come on, Brian. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. We don't stop. Keep that intensity level up. Come on. Push through it. Push through it. Let's go. Another one. Another one. Come on. Come on. Come on. Non-stop. Base out. Base out. Lower that body. There we go. Striking. Notice you keep fighting even when you're fatigued. You keep throwing. Base out. Base out. Base out. Let's go. We're almost done. Even though he's dead tired, he's not giving up. He's still fighting. He's keep going. Base out. Come on. And time. All right, we'll let them both catch their breath. So, guys, as you can tell, give yourself room. Uh, you know, puzzle match slipped up a little bit, but things happen. Give yourself enough space. Make sure when you guys are doing this drill, when we start to pick up intensity, clear out the living room. Go outside and do this. Just give yourself plenty of room. Remember, uh, it, it's attack after attack. They did not stop. They kept going. Brian's intensity level was there. Even when he was dead tired, he did not stop. He, even though they're slowed down, he kept throwing them with intensity. And that right there is what we want to see from you guys. So we're going to switch it up. Oh, yeah, getting ready. Here we go. Even one thing, guys, safety and training. When you get fatigued and tired, your strikes might be a little bit sloppy. So attackers, be cautious, be aware, cover up. Here we go. One minute, 30 seconds, and begin. Let's go. Pop, pop, pop. Good. He based out, popping on those hips, throwing combatives, disengaging. One after another. Good. Say fast, fast, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Remember, attackers non-stop. As soon as you get pushed, you go right back in. Go right back in, right back in, one after another. That's it, make him work, make him work, make him work. Notice he's, he's kind of fighting back a little bit too. That's awesome as an attacker. You don't just lay there, attackers are gonna fight back at you. That's what we want. Kind of making a little bit of wrestling match there. Sit. Come on. There we go. Keep it up. Keep basing out. Keep striking. Mean those combatives. Good. We're almost there. We're almost there. Twenty seconds. Come on. You guys at home, keep driving. Keep going. Good. Throwing body shots. I like it. Base out, freak out. That's what we want. And time. That's the best sound ever right there. All right. So, guys, a fun drill, a fatigue drill. Gives you a chance to see where, where you're at with this. And it just drains you one after another. Now, in real life, is that what we're going to want to happen? Absolutely not. If you get the chance to run, you take off. All right, this was just a drill, so understand that. Um, you know, if you can fight before they get to you, absolutely do so. But for the sake of the drill, it's bear hug after bear hug after bear hug. Awesome job, guys, on your mastery drill. Get ready for your cool down. All right, so I, I guarantee you guys are feeling it after that class. Here we go. We're going to start our cool down. So we're going to start from the neck, working our way down. So from here, just reaching over, grabbing one side of the neck and pushing down to the floor. Breathing in and breathing out. So a lot of cranking on the neck. That's how we're stretching it out. I want you guys to be sore. One more deep breath in and out. Switching it up, other side. Deep breath in and out. One more time in and out. Last one in. And out. From here, just circle your neck, hands on your hips. Loosen it up. A lot of cranking on the neck, so just want to stretch it out. Other direction. All right. From here, what I want you guys to do is you're just going to take one arm, reach out as far as you can. Hook on your tricep and start to pull it in nice and slow. And try to keep your chin up. Try not to choke yourself on this one. So from here, just pulling it in, pulling it in, pulling it in. Go ahead and rotate the wrist while you're here as well. Control that breathing in and out. Good. Relax. Loosen it up. 
Other arm reach as far as you can. Hook on that tricep and slowly pull it in. Good, until you start to feel that stretch. Rotate the wrist while we're here. We'll keep that chin up, try not to choke yourself on this. Good. All right, bring that arm up as high as you can. Hook on that tricep once again. Keep your chin up and pull that and try to touch the middle of your back, pulling that arm down and looking up the whole time, trying to get it up down. Look up, keep that chest out, puffed out. Deep breath in, feeling that tricep stretch. Breathing out, breathing in, and then out. All right, other side. Reach that arm up as high as you can. Hooking on that tricep. Going for the middle of your back with that opposite hand. Keep that head up, breathing in and out. One more deep breath. And out. Good, so come towards the wall. Stretching out our calves. You guys can just place your hands on there. We're just gonna put one leg back and you're gonna put all your weight into that wall, feeling that stretch in your calf. You're gonna alternate left and right on your own. Okay, really pushing into the wall. Good. A couple more. Hold it for about three to five seconds before you switch. And good. All right, guys, so if you have any questions, as always, feel free to email us, ask us. Keep training, keep working these drills. If you guys have any other ideas or something cool that you did, always share it with us. We'd love to hear from you.